Okay, so we're about to get started, and Sundiata is going to be um, your host. Sundiata is going to be your speaker tonight. And we're going to go over the benefits of our awesome product, Strike Up and Love. This call is recorded late. It's recorded midnight tonight, Central Standard Time. Because of um, other calls that was happening tonight, we wanted to be respectful of the leadership in total life changes. So thank you to everyone who, who decided to come on to this call and get this awesome information. This um, you know, I always say, you want to be resourceful in your business. So you don't have to be an expert in everything, but at least know where you can find the information. And tonight, you're going to get the best information possible that we know to give on the on the best product on the market from TLC, which is known as the Strike Up and the Love. Send you out of Ferguson. Are you on the line? Awesome, awesome, awesome. Well, thank you as always for that great introduction, Pat. Man, I'm I'm actually fired up and excited now. It's midnight. We should be asleep, but this I guess this this particular call is is, is appropriate for the time of the night. And y'all, I, I got to give it to. To Pam, because this was actually her idea. I was sitting here going round and around, round and around in circles, just trying to figure out when we were going to move the call. And for those of you that are unsure, for all our guests, and for those of you that are going to hear the recording, um, one thing you have to understand that here in Total Life Changes, it's, it's really uh, about one team, one dream. And, and, and so our VP of Sales, had a message that needed to be shared with our Total Life Changes family, and so it was imperative that we all were in unity and all in alignment and beyond that uh, that webinar for that message. So we had to move the call out of respect for our corporate leadership, and, that, and there is no compromise on that. Uh, for those of you that may not understand why we moved the call, uh, there is no uh, uh, second guessing. Um, what, where we stand when it comes to uh, our love and, and our respect for, for our leadership and our corporate staff and what they're doing to, as I always say, take Total Life Changes to becoming the number one health and wellness company in the world. And I'll keep saying that every single week, and some people will roll their eyes and we'll keep laughing, um, not just all the way to the pain, but all the way to health and wellness. And so tonight we're going to talk about the strike of the love. And, and guys, it's midnight, so we're going to have some fun with it. Now, we, we already know that strike of the love, okay, our, 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 our sexual enhancement products. We know that. We're all grown on the line. So we're going to talk a little bit about sex. We're going to talk about it from a different perspective, though, okay? And so understand that tonight the information, I, I'm sitting here and I'm thinking about, you know, as I was looking through some things from, um, from a holistic perspective, and I'm thinking to myself, man, whoever the formulator of the strike of the love is for total life changes, they were genius. And the fact that Mr. Stalin brought these two products on board. Okay, first of all, let me give you all a little uh, synopsis of this. From a, from, a, from a business standpoint, we already know that, especially us men, because of the terrible lifestyle we live here in the United States, at, at 40, we start falling apart in that area. We need a little assistance. We need help. If y'all doubt me, you, you understand why there's that little blue pill at every gas station right at the register next to the condoms and the energy supplements. <laughs> right? I told y'all this, this. This is grown folks talk, so we're just going to be real. All right? That means there's a problem. But ladies, you all know that... You know, um, the reality of it is that when you guys get into your 30s, you are supposedly entering into your sexual peak. Yet, the, <laughs> the statistics are saying that the amount of sexual activity in relationships and marriage actually are decreasing as women are aging. So let me give y'all a little, let me give y'all a little, uh, some information here. For starters, the way the human body was constructed and designed, one, erectile dysfunction should not even exist. Matter of fact, if you do your research, you'll realize there was no such thing as erectile dysfunction before the 1900s. It wasn't something that was known. Think about it. After the turn of the century, these are things that started 
you know, because, uh, sexual related problems started, be, you know, becoming more and more. And guess what? With the increase of our unhealthy lifestyle, cheating, okay, there's what we have. The other thing that you need to understand, ladies, again, you, you, you were designed to enter into your sexual peak after your 30s. So the fact of the matter that, the fact that, you, the fact that you know, you get to that age and then it's like uh, your, your, your desire for sexual activity lessens instead of increasing, um, that, that again is an issue. And, 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 and poor lifestyle and poor living and unhealthy eating, uh, uh, toxic water, and all these processed sugars have damaged our body's ability to function where it needs to function, especially when it comes to the bedroom. Now, so we already know that one of the functions of sexual activity is reproduction. We know that. Nature designed us for that. Okay, as a matter of fact, uh, in the animal kingdom, we are the only ones that enjoy other benefits of sexual activity outside of reproduction. So all the other animals that are driven by genetic code that don't have a higher consciousness, the only thing that sexual activity is for them is to reproduce. They, that, that's why you see, you know, it's like dogs, they eat, they hump, and they move. Okay, um, in, 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 in like gorilla settings, they have more of a family, communal, you know, lions, they do what they got to do. It's one dude taking care of a whole bunch of ladies, and but at the end of the day, he doesn't stay to have any any relationship. He just does what he has to do and keeps it moving. But for us, sexual activity is designed to have more benefits than just reproduction. I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap wrap off some, and then we're gonna get into the strike of the leg. One, sexual activity itself is also akin to exercise. So it actually is a form of burning calories. So some of y'all <laughs> need to burn a lot of calories, all right? Um, and I'm serious. Also, sexual activity is supposed to actually help you sleep better. It's also designed to help with uh, increased brain power, brain function. Go figure. All right. Um, another thing that um, that comes with that with that increased brain power is mental clarity. Okay. Um, <laughs> believe it or not, um, sexual release is also supposed to st stimulate the regeneration of your skin and your hair. Tell y'all, y'all, y'all missing out. Y'all don't want to get get busy. There's a whole lot behind this thing. And, and, and so understand now, so, so when you understand the formulation of, 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 the, of the strike of the love, based on what I just shared with you, some of the benefits of sexual activity, then you can, and you can, now you can get an understanding of why our products work, why they're so powerful, and why so many people are bragging about, about what's happening. Okay? So let's start talking about you know, I strike a love. And I'm going to start off with the love. Um, now, I want y'all to, to, to walk with me because if you think about it, our products, uh, the strike of love, they have, uh, each of them have uh, anywhere from nine to ten different ingredients. And I'm not going to go over every single ingredient, but what I am going to do is share with you uh, a few of them that in terms of the benefits that can really make a difference. So, actually, I, honestly, I would say if if you're drinking our tea, okay, if you're drinking our tea and you're drinking our Nutribus and uh, you've added the chaga for some maintenance, I, I really would say that our strike of the love should be a part of your regimen. I mean, not every single day, but it should be a part of your regimen at least two times a month, minimum. That, that's just my, what, I would, what I would say. And here's why, why, why I'm saying that. Again, we just talked about some of the additional benefits of sexual activity. But when you hear some of the benefits of the ingredients, okay, ladies, we're going to start with y'all. So we talked about that for women, especially when they hit 30, their, their drive for sexual activity drops. Part of the reason why that's happening is because in your brain, 
the, the nervous receptors that are supposed to stimulate sexual activity, uh, not just for um, not just for the the, 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 the the act of reproducing, but for the act of self-esteem. As a matter of fact, psychologically, sexual activity helps, or lack thereof, helps or can destroy, you know, uh, self-esteem. Uh, self-esteem can, can actually be tied to uh, depression. So think about it. By nature, sex can be an antidepressant or... <laughs> literally it can be a drug so you have to understand that with all these external things that 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 come with you know sexual activity let's talk about it so let's talk about um the the love we gonna start off with red jujube right now again for those of you that are guests that are going to hear this recording and for those of you that are, you know, listening, understand that we make no medical claims. We're not saying that our product cures any disease. However, we are sharing with you what the benefits of the ingredients that are in our products have been known to be used for and to benefit individuals, okay? So the red jujubes, ladies, we've talked about this before on our other calls. Iron. Some of you are iron deficient, and if and you also have to understand that there are different types of iron delivery and different types of iron deficiency. Okay, so yes, we do have sources of iron in our tatui, our chaga, our nutriburst, but we also have another source here in the love. And do you always also know? that your iron deficiency, which diminishes your energy levels, also greatly affects your sex life. Wow. And that right there, remember I just talked about how sexual activity is also uh, like an antidepressant because you, you get this release of endorphins and, and this really good feeling. Well, you should. <laughs> um, well, the red jujube is also um, have been used to help with stress relief. Now, understand that stress is anything that suppresses or overstimulates the nervous system. By that, for example, if I were to, if you were standing next to my car and I just started blaring the horn, that loud noise is stress. It's a stressor on your nervous system. And whether you know it or not, a chemical reaction is taking place inside of your body. If, 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 if you and your mate actually have a disagreement, matter of fact, think about it. Ever been arguing with somebody and then all of a sudden you just get a headache? <laughs> well, again, that's a stressor. Uh, you know, so, and the, the red juvie has been known to be an anti-stressing agent. So it helps calm the nervous system down. Well, one of the things that happens is when the nervous system is overstimulated, okay, again, the body works in priority, so sex is not a priority, but the, the brain receptors won't be focused on sending messages of sexual activity to, to your brain and to the other parts of your body that needs to be stimulated. It will be focused on whatever that stressor is, okay? So... Uh, be, be, be aware of that. Understand that now, in addition to relieving the stress, guess what the red jujube also does? It's a sleep aid. Ladies and gentlemen, th there's not been a call that we haven't been on where we haven't discussed the fact that our products help people sleep better. And sleep, remember I even I talked about uh, even sex itself is designed to help you sleep better with that endorphin release. Um, well, guess what? That's also a sleep aid. And if you're getting better quality sleep, and I'm not talking about sleeping eight hours every night, because you can sleep eight hours every night and not get quality sleep because you're tossing and turning your up or whatever. I'm talking about falling asleep easily like Pam does, getting some sound sleep, and then waking up refreshed and ready to go. That's what I'm, that's what I'm talking about when you measure quality of sleep. So, yeah, you might fall asleep. If any one of those components working, ain't working, it's not quality, okay? 
Now, the red jujube has also been known to be an anti-cancer agent. Uh, ladies, we all we know uh, breast cancer is something that's on the rise. Ovarian cancer is on the rise. So here again, you have something that's meant for sexual activity, but also benefiting with other health health issues. Circulation. Circulation is very important, again, what, in the waste removal department. Poor circulation uh, swell, leads to what, swelling of the feet, uh, swelling of the extremities. Um, and again, if your circulatory system is under stress, it diminishes the signals of your sexuality that needs to be sent to your brain. So yeah, now you all understanding why we talk about, hey, ladies, when you talk about, well, you know, the testimony that we've had when, when ladies have taken the love and they just feel like, wow, they hug the one around the house just looking tasty. And he could be looking all crusty as all outdoors. But just just having that in your system stimulates the chemical responses that it's supposed to naturally happen. See, and the thing about this is when you're in a committed relationship, right, <laughs> stimulation, if, if that relationship is authentic and there's, there's also that spiritual connection, and that's a whole nother that's a whole nother wellness road we're gonna go down on to. But stimulation doesn't need to be even be external. You just be sitting around each other and you can be aroused. Okay, so when the brain function that controls this gets affected by all the processed poor nutrition that we're consistently bombarding our system with that gets diminished. Now, what about bone strength? Ladies, this is something that's important to you. We know osteoporosis has been on the rise, you know, in women here, especially in the United States, as, they, as they're getting older, and on, you know, they talk about, well, their bones are shrinking. No, what's happening is, again, because of these processed garbage that we're consuming, okay, the, those foods are basically siphoning nutrients out of our joints, our bones, out of our tissue, out of our cells, and thus the accumulation of all the health issues that are arising. And again, man, we can sit up here and talk about, you know, just how powerful this thing is when it comes to restoration in the bedroom, but think about just restoring your health overall in addition to that. So now, not, not only do you feel better, so you can enjoy your experience. You're adding longevity to that. Because really and truly, I'm, I'm going to give you all something else. We were created and designed, okay, in such a way. If you study physiology and anatomy to be, to be actually sexually active well into our 70s and 80s, that's how our body was designed, based on physiology and anatomy. However, because of lifestyle, and because of, you know, the poor quality of the tools that we need to function, then that has totally been diminished. So a lot of times people think when you say somebody sexually active well into their 60s, people think you're crazy. But you, we're supposed to be. It's a whole nother kettle of fish. Because nobody wants want to think about their grandparents or their mamas doing that stuff. But, again, it's just, it's just what it is. Right? And so another benefit of this um, – powerful herbal extract. Ladies, there's something you like. I mean, you're already doing this with the um, with the tea and the Nutriverse and the drops. Weight management. It actually helps, okay, with the reset, um, the, the reset uh, of your of your fat burning agents. And so what happens is, and again, remember I talked about during sex, it's like it's supposed to be like exercise. It's actually supposed to trigger certain mechanisms to help you burn fat. Okay, and so with, with, with this herbal extract in there, that actually increases your body's ability to do that. What about digestion? What about uh, as he, we, we talked about this uh, briefly? Uh, improvement of your of your skin fit, your skin quality. Again, everything is linked. So, for example, we t I, t I told you all that, you know, your skin quality improves. Well, the reason it improves is because your circulation has improved. A lot of times people's skin looks saggy and not as 
bright and shiny as it should be because guess what? Okay, their circula their circulation is not where it needs to be. And lastly, it's an antioxidant. That pretty much is the be all of everything. <laughs> Those little cretins, okay, that find their way into our system and, and cause inflammation. They cause uh, 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 bacteria to fester, yeast infections, all those stuff. Well, guess what? Your little love potion uh, actually fights against all that. But wait, that's just one of the ingredients. We've been on there more, a little more than 20 minutes, and that's just one, one of the herbal ingredients in the love, ladies. And look how many benefits we've already outlined with that. So that means, ladies, I'm telling you, when y'all get off the phone tonight, or when you finish listening to this message, whatever you listen to it between now and next Wednesday, you should be running to tell every single woman you know about some of these benefits. Okay, I just go back and listen to the call. Take some notes. Say, girl, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta have this. And some of them might tell you, well, they don't have a partner. That's okay. They don't need to have a partner because guess what? It's not like they're gonna be walking around just humping every every man they see. All right, that's not gonna happen but they still can enjoy the benefits of the product, okay? Now, another one of the ingredients, okay, is saffron, which is a natural aphrodisiac. As a matter of fact, I, I remember, you know, um, when, when I was growing up in the islands, I used to hear some of these older ladies, you know, in conversation in passing, they're talking about, man, I'm about to go home and fix my man some saffron tea. Like, what does that mean? But, you know, I was young, I didn't know, I understand what all that was, but now, you know, in terms of looking at the herbs, again, it's a natural aphrodisiac. And again, ladies, the, the thing about aphrodisiac is not just to simply make you horny, it, it really is designed, okay, uh, if, we, if we take all the, 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 the media hype negative connotations out of all this stuff, it's really designed to, to spark okay, to set the sparks off in your brain so that your body does what it's supposed to do. And, and for those of you, if you, got, if you ever doubt this, sexual energy is one of the hardest energies to fight. That's why infidelity is such a problem. It's one of the hardest energies to fight because we were designed to function as sexual creatures. I'm just, just going to tell you all put that out there. Now, we still have a higher consciousness to be able to make the right choices, but again, so it, it, when you when you understand that if you're in a committed relationship and this area of your life just doesn't seem to be where you want it to be, here, here's a here's a, a chance to jump start it. And for those of you that are distributors, again, we need to all get off the phone, call every girlfriend we got, and let them know. Now, for me, calling my female friends, having this conversation might be a little bit tricky. But I'm gonna call all my partners and really have some conversation with them about the love and let I mean about the cycle and let them do the work with their you know with their uh, with their with their ladies. All right, what about turmeric? You know, and and, and 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 again, you're talking about another antioxidant. I mean, and turmeric is also an anti-inflammatory agent. Matter of fact, if if you ever ate the um, guys and if you guys doubt me, think about this. I want y'all to think about this. Where are the highest populated areas in the world? In Asia, correct? Well, if you were to do your research, you'll see that in Asia, <laughs> these folks, <laughs> not only are they only are they having a lot of children, which means somebody's busy, but a lot of these things that we talk about, they're using them on a regular, it's like it's normal for them to use turmeric over in India you know, one of the, the, the highest, most populated countries in the world. It's normal to use turmeric on everything. It's normal for them to use asparagus and, and papaya. And again, I'm outlining some of the things that are in the love. You know, you talk about asparagus, which helps with uh, hormone balance. Ladies, especially ladies going through the, the transition. I mean, just because you're going through that transition, you don't want that to affect your sex life. Because you know, God knows, from the man's perspective, it gets a little rough for us. Okay, so, you know, anything 
that can help regulate your hormonal output, but also not only the output, but what they do when they're released, that's a plus. Okay? But did you also know asparagus um, is one of the reasons or one of the, uh, the plants or herbs that helps with the, um, the boosting of, of orgasm? Now, here's how this works. So asparagus is kind of like works for, for the, the female sexual organ like broccoli works for the brain. So it's almost like it creates oxygenation in your sexual organs. And again, there are some women that talk about how hard it is for them to be moist and how hard it is for them to have orgasms. And, and again, all of that comes from the proper functioning of your brain, uh, certain stimulation with your nervous system, and again, that's all diminished by our poor dietary lifestyle. All right? So we talked about, you know, one, two, three, four of the ingredients in the, in, in the well, five, in the love. And there's a few others. We talked about um, there's capsaicin, and that one basically is another it stimulates stuff. Uh, stimulation of the nervous system, right, which, again, is how the messages are sent from your brain to wherever it needs to go to that turns on the faucet that gets you moist, uh, that, that, that turns on the faucet that, 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 that gives you that, you know, that peak, uh, that, that turns on, on the faucet that actually puts you in the mood. So, again, so now I'm, I'm hoping that y'all get a clear understanding of why our product is effective. And, again, like I said, whoever the person is that put this formulation together, they were genius. They're genius. Because they really understand how the human body works and what it needs from an herbal perspective. From an herbal perspective. Okay? And... Lastly, um, with the uh, capsaicin, it also helps with the release of endorphins. And endorphins, ladies, ladies, it's like your happy potion. So, you know, I guess our love could be our second happy pill, just like our NRG is. Okay, now, fellas, or, well, ladies, you guys can take some notes, too, because, you know, you know, us fellas, we always good, right? We, we don't never want to do that. We always good. But let's talk about the psycho. Let, let's talk about that because we all know that um, high blood pressure uh, <laughs> is one of the main causes of erectile dysfunction. Uh, stress, emotional, physical, or otherwise, is one of the main um Causes, causes of erectile dysfunction, uh, even excessive fat around the midsection. Uh, that's a whole other story. But we already got the T and the Nutribus to handle that. So let's talk about this. Now, one of the things I love is the fact that I strike up, unlike Viagra and all this stuff, we don't have to worry about these crazy side effects. So, so you strike up, you don't, necessarily, you don't necessarily have to strike out in terms of, okay, um, you have an erection lasting for more than four hours. Who does that? So what? I mean, really? So, so, so they tell you to buy a, a concoction that could possibly leave you like that for an excessive amount of time. And, and what they don't tell you is that, is that if that ever happens to you, guess what, guess what happens? It takes blood to create an erection, right? And ex extended erections like that that can be caused by some of these problems, guess what? It puts an, an enormous strain on your heart because your heart has to has, continues to pump blood down to that region to maintain that. And it's almost like whatever, whatever they put in that, that medication, it's like a magnet just pulling this blood down to that region and, again, overworking your heart, which is one of the reasons why you could actually possibly have a heart attack using Viagra. You know, but they don't go into the details. They just tell you, well, okay, this is one of the side effects, et cetera, et cetera, yada, yada. And then, you know, because we're so media hype driven, we just like, okay. But, and, and fellas still take it anyway. So let's talk about this. Um, uh, 
let's see. There's about nine other things I want to talk about here. So let's talk, let's start with the the Romagna route. So many of us fellows, um, and we have testimonies that have related to this. The Romagna route actually helps with strengthening the kidneys. Now, uh, again, your kidneys help filter toxins out of the body. Okay, um, especially for men, you know, we're not as fortunate as the ladies, so everything goes through one pipe. Well, guess what? If you're not, if your kidneys are not efficiently processing waste materials, all right, to push it out of your out of your system, do you also do you also know that these toxic materials can get clogged in the prostate gland, can get clogged in the testicles, can even get clogged in the pipe itself? So, and what that leads to is, you know, sometimes you see um, as we as men get older, they have what they call the drips. So then we go to the bathroom and we can't cut it off like we used to when we were kids. That's actually a very, very, very dangerous sign of, of, of kidney issues. So now we're talking about the Romagna root actually works to help that. So in addition to restoring your vigor and vitality when it comes to having uh, an erection, now it's working with your kidneys to, to be able to get rid of some of those toxic materials that can cause a deterioration in that area. All right? It also works with hormone balance. Now, fellas, I know when it comes to hormones, we don't like to talk about you know, our hormones. But look, guys, whether you want to admit it or not, we have hormones just like our, our ladies. As a matter of fact, okay, it's hormones that drive our rage. It's hormones that drive our our depression. And it, and if you think about it, women, okay, ladies, don't don't gloat about this, but this is just a reality check. When women go through emotional instability, okay, they handle it differently than men do. That's why men who go through emotional trauma are more prone to suicide than women are because you guys are wired to deal with the, that hormonal change differently than we are. It's just, it's just it's, hey, I don't know why the creator set it up like that. It's just the way it is. And whether people want to admit it or not, it's just a reality. And you can do your, and, and I always tell you, do your research. When you look at the, the, the number of suicides related to, um, to marriage failures among men as opposed to women, all right. You would think for the women, because they're emotional creatures, that it's higher. It's higher on the men's side. And that's all hormonally driven. Okay? And because as men growing up, we're not taught how to manage our emotions and our hormones, well, it leads to those types of issues. But anyway, because we're not taught how to manage our hormones, you also realize that anger, and stress is another cause of erectile dysfunction, right? So when you're when you're taking the strike up, it literally it literally allows your body, okay, to fight off the stress hormones. That's basically what it's doing. And if it's doing that, your brain can actually react the way it needs to react when it's stimulated from a sexual standpoint. Okay, from a sexual standpoint. Because, to be honest, I'm, I'm going to tell you all this, straight up, especially for men, we can be mad at our woman. It don't matter how mad we are, right? And at the drop of a dime, she can turn us on sexually, at least for most of us. For some men, that, that doesn't happen because, again, there's, a, there's, a, there's an internal block there. So once, once they get mad, they, there's no way for them to get turned on. But that's not how men, men were designed like that. We really were designed as sexual creatures, the procreators of the species. So it don't matter how mad you are at her, your brain is supposed to be able to, if she just comes and sits next to you and touches you, she should be able to turn you on, regardless of what, what happens. You know, but, and some, but hey, sometimes you got to um, stay ready to be ready. Okay? So... Let's talk about the glossy present, which they call the uh, the fruit tongue. Well, you, uh, 
fatigue. That's another area in the bedroom where that's causing problems because we're tired. Men, we're tired. Now, if you understand that if your kidneys are overworked, because it's all, it's all a system. If your kidneys are overworked, then your liver has to work harder. Then your heart has to work harder. Then cardiovascularly, you're weaker. Okay? So I would even venture to say who, uh, whoever this gentleman is, he start drinking some Slim PM, and we're going to talk about that next week. All right, so y'all make sure y'all don't miss that, okay? We're going to talk about the Slim PM and how that really um, can enhance your uh, cardiovascular strength, which, again, ties back into what happens in the bedroom as well, okay? But, I mean, other areas that it's good for, we talk about hair loss, um, eye function, and because your eyes are affected, again, by what? Excessive processed sugars in the body. Okay, on a consistent basis that bombards your nervous system, shutting it down. So you can't do what you're supposed to do when you're supposed to do it. Okay, what about, um, what about, let's talk about the, the, er, the herbal epidemic, which, we, which in, in the holistic world is called horny goat weed. <laughs> I mean, literally. I, and it was discovered because they figured out that when the goats would actually eat it, like they would just go, Whoa, I, literally, they be trying to tear everything up in sight, okay? So, uh, again, acts as a natural aphrodisiac, but it's in terms of stimulating your, your libido, okay, it's not, again, it's not like you walk around like a sex-crazed monster, but when the mood arises, you're ready to, to go to work. Right? And, and sometimes, fellas, that's all she wants is for us to show up and go to work when she's ready for us to do whatever she wants us to do, okay? And so another thing that, that you all have to also understand is this. None of the ingredients, none of the ingredients in our products, okay, put an excessive strain on your heart, okay, because it's designed the 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 the, prop, the the ingredients are designed to help you function better, but not in an excessive manner like like we talked about with the Viagra with the with an erection for four hours, which <laughs> biologically that's that doesn't even make any sense. But however, for example, the strike up is designed so that okay, when you have an orgasm, it's almost like you run some miles. Okay, now, and if you think about kids, when when they're running, they stop, they can catch their breath a lot faster than we do as adults, and then they go again, right? Well, the cycle is designed for when you take it, in that, especially in that first 24-hour window. After you have your orgasm, your body goes into recovery mode. It's like, okay, okay, I don't have this in business, so yeah, all right, I got to bring will build my energy reserve back up. Well, guess what? It's designed to help you recover even faster and be ready to work again if the need and desire is there. All right? So let's talk about the um, Cassia cinnamon cortex. That is one of the main ingredients whose specific function is cardiovascular strength. I mean, think about this. Imagine, you know, you're in a, in, in, in a state where even as you're getting older, you know, after this, you don't, you're, you're not like, you're not just huffing and puffing, but you can catch your breath, you can function normally, you can go do what you got to do, and then if she says within a certain time frame she's ready to rock again, you're ready to roll too because it enhances your body's ability cardiovascularly. And, and cardiovascular also means your body's ability to use oxygen during work, okay? So, hello, it, it now increases the circulation to and from your heart, through your lungs, to your loins, which allows you to rise to the occasion again, but also not be short of breath when you do it, okay? Um, but this particular ingredient also helps fight tumors. Now, one of the things, fellas, 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 especially with our prostate and 
prostate, testicular, and colon health. These three things really affect our sexual performance. So we got to be very diligent, especially when we hit 40, okay? Um, and this thing helps actually fight um, and shrink tumors, but it also helps with cholesterol. And, you know, that nasty plaque that lines our arteries. Ladies and gentlemen, we got to uh, understand that, you know, as the, as the blood moves to our sexual organs, if our arteries are clogged with plaque, again, fellas, we can't rise to, the, rise to the occasion. Okay, the Japanese arrow, otherwise known as the, the, the radix, okay, again, helps with the increase in blood flow, but it regulates blood pressure. So it increases blood flow to the genital area, but your blood pressure is regulated, which, again, is one of the main causes of erectile dysfunction. Okay, awesome, awesome. I was just getting a time check there from the boss lady. All right, so let's talk about the black sesame seeds, which is known as the semen Sesame. Fellas, 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 fellas. Prostate health. Again, important. Especially, you know, for us black men here in America, prostate cancer is killing us rapidly. So we gotta fight back. And 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 while we fight back, we can have some fun with it, fellas. So understand again, like man, I, I don't know. And really, I don't care. <laughs> I'm just happy that whoever this person is that came up with this formulation, they uh, they really really understood it. So I know we need to be um, we need to usher in a, a spike in, in the sales of Strike Up and Love starting tonight. So really, okay, really, let, let, let's let's go through this. Everybody needs to be drinking our tea. Everybody needs to be drinking our nutrients. Everybody should be taking chocolate. If you're working out, you should be taking you should be taking shit too. Whether you're trying to lose weight or put on muscle. That's four of our products. You, everybody should be using. Those of you that, that really want to take your, your weight loss to the next level, you should be using the um the Slim PM. And we're gonna talk about why next week. You should be drinking the Slim PM. All right? Now, in addition to that, you you wanna get your skin tight, right, and looking really great, you should be using the Slim R. Right, Pam? Okay. Awesome. Now, that those products right there, I, I'm, we're talking about, I'm, and I'm just giving you real because we live in a world now where the quality of our food is not going to give us what we need. And thankfully, Total Life Change is here to bring the little extra that we need. And then with the strike of the love, okay, while you're enhancing your sexual experience, you're still improving your health. What about um, Solomon Seal, which is the uh, rhizoma? Polygenalis, natural aphrodisiac, and you heard the name, the alternate name is Solomon Seal. It's a natural aphrodisiac, but it also helps with mental clarity. You know what I mean? I mean, because sometimes we just can't, we just don't focus in the bedroom. We don't, all right? It, 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 it's known to regulate blood pressure as well. Again, another very important thing, uh, increasing concentration. It, it, in some cases, it helps with uh, injury that you may or may not have. Um, helps with the reduction of uh, inflammation in the gastrointestinal tube. Hello, this is where your food is ingested and broken down, that whole tube from your mouth to your anus. And again, look at all the benefits outside of snacks. So, so again, you having fun and getting healthy at the same time. You know, this is why I say, I mean, you should be popping at least, at least two loves a month just for the extra benefits. And I'm not even talking about the sexual benefits. I'm talking about the health benefits. You know what? Hold on. <laughs> uh, anyway, but but to close it out, ladies and gentlemen, to close it out, seriously though, seriously. I, I mean, we we have fun and we laugh and we joke. I know I I, I don't see some inbox messages with some folks about that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they're like, well, so you didn't give me enough of what I need. It's time to go. But, uh, and so I won't keep you out too, uh, too, uh, any longer. But thank you, as always, for chiming in. Like I said, we had to, you know, make sure we respected our corporate leadership and move the call. We had some fun tonight. Um, 
I certainly enjoy bringing this call to y'all, and I know Pam definitely does that. Uh, she's really passionate now, uh, I mean, really about us every single week, making sure that we commit. Uh, she stays on top of me uh, to keep this commitment to bringing this information to not only our TLC family, but, you know, all our customers, uh, prospective customers, and everyone that benefits from, from the use of our products. So with that, as I, was, I don't know how many people are on the line. I'm going to stop the recording. Um,